Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, lesson 15.3. Um, so this lesson, when you look at it right away, looks really easy. You're basically naming shapes you've known for several years. But um, I want to show you the notes. So I'll do some talking. I want you to pause and record these down. So this is page three of your notes. Remember, you're taking five pages of notes. Today, you're learning about the op attributes of quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. So on top, you have a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel, parallel and equal in length. So you see how the x's, that line is equal in length and they're parallel. Parallel means they would never cross. The lines that I marked with the o's, they are equal in length and they are parallel. They'll never intersect. Intersect means crossing. So then we have a trapezoid. I drew a couple different trapezoids. The one on the bottom might pop up on a test in a few days. And they only have one pair of parallel sides. I mark those parallel sides with X's, but they do not have to be equal in length. They're just parallel, which means they never intersect. Then below we have a rectangle. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. If you remember from yesterday, a right angle can be marked by a little sign right here. It's 90 degrees, that has four of them. Okay, and then a rhombus that has is a parallelogram where all sides are the same length. But it doesn't have to have 90 degree angles. That's a rhombus. And then a square is a rectangle with all sides the same length. There you can see the square right there. All right, so jot down your notes and I'm gonna go over a few of the problems with you. Okay, here on page 350 now, um, number one and two of guided practice. So if you read the directions, you're gonna be writing down the name of the shape and the attributes. So obviously you could look at those and name them right away, but I really want you to work on the attributes. So number one, you have a square and it has four equal sides, which is in your notes. Number two, that's a rhombus. It has two pairs of equal sides, which you can see there. Okay, I'm jumping up to 11, 12, and 13 in independent practice. They're gonna list these measurements to you like this. These are always confusing in class. So I listed the measurements for number 11, 54 degrees, 126 degrees, 126 degrees, and 54 degrees. I'm gonna show you how that would be drawn out. You just draw them in order. So you would have 54 degrees, 126 degrees, 126 degrees, and 54 degrees. You draw that's gonna be a trapezoid. Every single quadrilateral, if you add up all the measurements, it's gonna equal 360 degrees. Every single one of those you add up is going to be 360 degrees. Um, so think of like a circle is 360 degrees. A square is just the same if you add up all the degrees inside. I'll just hold these up. You can look at number 12 that's drawn out as a trapezoid. And number 13 is drawn out as a parallelogram. But good luck with the lesson. I think you should do well on this. But remember, you're not just identifying shapes. You are writing down the attributes of them, which you took down your notes. We're going to get into more of the details about what one's this? What one's that? How many uh, different names does this shape have in our lesson tomorrow? Okay, have a great day. Bye.